Hello students, Mr. Murphy here. I hope you're doing all right. Um, I just want to go over the lesson 23, session 4 with you. Uh, it's a little bit different, it's just a little more complication. So if you're on page 575, you can follow along with me. You can pause the video and go ahead and grab your book if you'd like. So looking at page 575, in the example, 4 times the square root of 2 means 4 dot square root of 2, means times the square root of 2. So write parentheses 4 times the square root of 2, parentheses squared, without using the square root symbol. <clears throat> so remember what I said, square root and squared are kind of opposites. So x squared is x times x. And then square root is what number times itself equals what's on the inside. So what number times itself equals x squared? Well, that's x squared. x times x is x squared. So the square root of x squared is x. So, in essence, if you have the square root and a squared, they cancel each other out. It's like adding 5 and then subtracting 5, or multiplying by 10 and then dividing by 10. You're just canceling stuff out. So when we have this number 4 times the square root of 2 squared, well, split them up. So we have 4 times the square root of 2 times 4 times the square root of 2 rearrange them around using that commutative property. So we have 4 times 4 and the square root of the 2 times the square root of 2. Well, the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is, if you want to think of it as 2 to the power of 2, you can, which is just 2. Right? So when we multiply the square root times itself, we just get the number that's inside the square root symbol. And then 4 times 4 is 16. And so 16 times 2 is 32. 